New Rogue One trailer. Pretty exciting. A Star Wars film set outside of the main Skywalker storyline. For the first time. Unless you count the Ewok movies, which I definitely do. Okay, let's get into some of the things that people may have missed. Because that's what happens here. That and, you know, yellow text and red arrows. That's what I'm about. But look, bear in mind potential spoilers for this movie. And also some for Star Wars Rebels. But also bear in mind that I have no insider information and have never even seen a Star Wars movie. That's not true. I've seen all of them. I've even seen the Ewok movies. Highly recommended. Can't stress that enough. Straight up we get a couple of very familiar locations and sounds, such as the Imperial Alarm, which makes sense considering that this is set just prior to the first Star Wars film from 1977. We get the original Death Star and a closer look at its main control room. Back to this bloke in a bit though, and we also get Yavin 4, the hidden rebel base and its own control room. The aesthetic of this universe fits the time period really well. With a stack of callbacks, we even get original and newer Stormtrooper designs, including these ones rumored to be an elite Death Squad. Squad. We also get some variation on the original ATAT -AT design. Some people say at at, but I don't. Because what would you call an ATST? At st? Get the hell out of here. Now there won't be too many familiar characters appearing, though there are rumors of Tarkin, Han Solo, Vader, and Boba Fett. <laughs> Some people say you can hear Vader breathing in the trailer. Honestly, I can't, but that doesn't mean it's not there. We do, however, see the return of Mon Mothma, who first appeared in Return of the Jedi. She's actually being played by the same actress who appears as her in a Revenge of the Sith deleted scene. Great stuff, this. Sitting and talking. A staple of the prequels. But you know what? I guess Rogue One is a prequel also. Yeah, I said it. Rogue One is a prequel. Hashtag Rogue One is a prequel. Let's talk about some of the new characters, though. This guy as played by Ben Mendelsohn. Clearly doesn't mind getting amongst it. Not a lot of high-ranking Imperial officers are seen down on the ground. He also carries a silver blaster, and his rank appears to be that of Admiral, with a white outfit and all, seeming very reminiscent of Grand Admiral Thrawn from the Legends universe. Forrest Whitaker is said to be a bounty hunter, but with some allegiance to the Rebels. His limp indicates that the rumors he's missing a leg may be true. Jiang Wen and Donnie Yen are also said to be bounty hunters, whose services are purchased to assist the Rebels in stealing the Death Star plan. Interestingly, this guy can fight blind, so maybe he's force sensitive? There's apparently no Jedi in the film, but there has been precedent for blind force users to see using, you know, all the midi-chlorians that the Jedi's use. I say midi-chlorians because that's a concept from the prequels and Rogue One is a prequel. Hashtag Rogue One is a prequel. Jin Ursa, played by Felicity Jones, is rumored to be the daughter of the Imperial officer who designed the Death Star as played by Mads Mikkelsen, who's maybe this guy? I want to get back to him in a minute though. I got questions. She fights pretty efficiently with a nightstick and is seen dressed in an Imperial outfit. Looks to be kind of similar to an Imperial gunner uniform or a TIE fighter pilot, minus the helmets. I definitely think that she hasn't gone bad here, but is infiltrating an Imperial base. Maybe even the Death Star itself. She's not alone in that either. Diego Luna's character, said to be named Cassian Willux, appears as some kind of rebel captain. He's seen in the trailer, wearing the trousers of an Imperial officer, which could mean they're together on this undercover operation. Jin is also being closely followed by a droid, probably the one played in motion capture by Alan Tudyk. Looks to be a bit reminiscent of IG-88's original concept art, with a more pronounced head, and also appears to be a former Imperial droid. His back plate isn't dissimilar to what you might see on a Stormtrooper. A few quick things before we get back to the hooded guy mentioned earlier. Crashed X-Wing, right there. This looks to be some kind of hover tank that explodes. You actually get a better look at it later in the trailer. But this scene here though, yeah, I honestly, I don't know who this is. I don't think it's Vader, unless he's out of the armor, I guess. But like I said, it could be Mads Mikkelsen's character. An Inquisitor? Though I doubt that, they're, they're kind of done. Snoke, a high-ranking Imperial officer, but again, I don't know, what do you think? Also, royal guards to me indicate that the Emperor is in this room. Maybe in this back to tank looking thing, though it's a bit more swish than the one we see in Empire Strikes Back. I wonder though if the Emperor is in it, if he'd be wearing the standard back to diaper. Oh man, I hope so. I have a theory though that this might be some kind of cryo chamber? to extend the Emperor's life. Seems to be quite a bit of cold mist kind of coming off it. I know the Emperor previously said that he and Vader would try and work out a way to cheat death, but what if they haven't? I mean, Vader's still aged, and the Emperor's attractiveness is about a rung below a bag of garbage lit on fire and then put out with a chain. But I don't know, this is just a passing thought. But is there anything else important that I've missed? If so, please feel free to leave it in the comments, because I have just like so many questions. What does this say? It says nothing in the standard Star Wars basic. I checked, 
because I'm a crazy person. And why are they installing the roundy laser bit on the Death Star when they already did it in Revenge of the Sith? Was it terrible workmanship and they had to do it again? Also, who's this guy? What's he doing in a Star Wars prequel? That's right, this is a Star Wars prequel. I'm sorry, don't think that it isn't. Hashtag Rogue One is a prequel. Spread the word, tell everyone. All right, that'll do it. Now, if you like Star Wars videos, feel free to check out that one down there, which is a montage of everyone Han Solo has ever killed. Also, this Monday on my podcast, The Weekly Planet, we're going to be going super in-depth on this trailer. So come along for the ride. It's a real fun ride. I mean, podcast. Podcast ride. All right, that'll do it. Thanks, everyone. Take care. (laughs) 